hi, hi, hi! Welcome to another episode of The Family Couch. Can you believe it? We're already on episode 16. I hope you guys have been having a good time. I know I've been having a good time. I'm really glad to be here with you guys. I'm really glad we are able to learn all about God and Jesus and his love and do Sabbath school together and it's so awesome! <laughs> Let's start with prayer. Um, and then we'll jump right into it and we'll get going and yeah. <laughs> okay, so fold your hands, close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you do for us. Please be with us as we go through today's Sabbath school lesson. Help us to learn more about you and your love and all that you have for us. We love you so much. In your name, amen. Okay. Have you guys, have you ever heard of something called the Trinity? It's kind of a, I don't want to say weird because it's not a weird concept. It's just a hard to understand thing because we as Seventh-day Adventist Christians know there is one God, but there's one God in three forms. That's God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we know about the first two, right? God is, he made everything. He created the earth and he has a plan for us, right? And God the Son, or Jesus, came to the earth to be born as a baby and to die for our sins. But the Holy Spirit, that that's a little bit harder, right? Because you're like, what is the Holy Spirit? It sounds like it's like a ghost that's haunting us. Or at least that's how I've always felt. I'm like, I don't know. But what the Holy Spirit is, is actually the presence of God in our lives. When we ask for God to come into our lives, the Holy Spirit enters us and leads us down the path that God wants us to go. And he teaches us and he shows us. And the Holy Spirit is what we have inside of us, right? He's, he comes into our hearts to teach us about joy and love and acceptance. And uh, if you read through the Bible, there's a certain section which just completely blanked from my mind where we learn about the fruits of the spirit and that's exactly what the holy spirit is the holy spirit are these elements that come into us and show us how to be better christians oh isn't that so cool isn't that so cool that god is not just one thing but he's three things that's big and bigger than this universe and bigger than us but part of that is us is a part of who we are as Christians. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to now head outside to do some fun games and activities with Micah, and then we're going to be doing some craft times with Lola, and it's going to be so great. Please join me as I go do these things, and then we'll meet right back here on this couch to say our closing prayer. Welcome outdoors! We're so excited you get to be here. And like always, I've got my trusty little helper right here on the ground. But you guys might be thinking, okay, why is Michael laying on the ground? That's so weird. But I've asked him to lay down here to take some calming breaths and just... You can see it's working really well. But for today's game, because we're learning all about the Holy Spirit, <laughs> because we're learning about the Holy Spirit and how he's this this almost invisible force in our lives right we can't see him we've not it, it's a little bit weird right but we know he's there we know he's in our hearts helping us and guiding us and so that's very much like our hearts right here the Holy Spirit's in our hearts but do you know you can't see your heart right you can't like open up your chest to be like, here's my heart, but you can feel it. So for today's game, I'm going to ask you guys to practice, um, practice counting your heartbeats. So it's really simple. For the first step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay down like Micah is, take some calming breaths, <laughs> and then when you're nice and calmed and relaxed and like almost asleep, what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel around on your neck, 
for your heartbeat, which you can't feel if you're talking. That makes it a little bit difficult. So you just feel around until you find your heartbeat and then you count how many times it beats for 15 seconds. And then you multiply that by four and you get what's called your resting heartbeat. After we do that, we're gonna do it in a couple of other positions so that we can really see the difference between Micah's heartbeat from when he's doing nothing to when he's dancing and moving and wiggling. Because that's just like having the Holy Spirit in our lives, right? When he's in our heart and we've accepted him, it changes us. It makes us more vibrant and wild Christians who want to follow God's path and want to be there for him. So, Micah, do you feel relaxed? Do you feel yeah. like you're going to fall asleep? Uh. Okay, lay on your back, dude. Lay on your back. No. Well, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll start with your resting heart rate as best we can. Now, you're going to have to stay really still. And what I'm going to do is I brought out one of our tablets. <laughs> This is actually Micah's tablet. He gets to play his fun games on it. And I've set it for 15 seconds. So as soon as I have found his heartbeat, I'll press start on it. So, let's see. Right there, okay. We have to be really quiet so I can count, okay? Okay, so Micah, I counted you had 20 beats in that 15 seconds. I may have missed a couple because like you saw, he wiggled. So we multiply that by four. Do you know what that is? Do you know what 20 times four is? <laughs> that would be 80. 80 seconds is Micah's resting heart rate. So Micah, I want you to stand up now. Stand up, but don't be wild. We're not, we're not at wild yet. I just want you to stand, okay? We're gonna do that one more time. Here, come stand in front of me. Come here, stand right here in front of me because I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel your heart rate. Hold on to this. Okay, let's see if I can get a feel for it. Hold on, hold on, don't, hold on. Cancel, don't press it yet. Because I gotta find your heartbeat. Can't move. Okay, put your head up like this. There we go. Now hit start. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying there and for all of you that know, I was not actually trying to choke him. Uh, I got about 22 beats, but I would estimate I messed a couple, so I'd say probably 25. So when Micah is standing and not doing anything, it's 100 beats a minute. How crazy is that? When he was laying, when he was laying still, it was only 80. And then just by standing. Now, Micah, here is your favorite part of this activity. I want you to jump around and be wild for 15 seconds. I'm going to time you. Are you ready? Okay. Set. Be as wild as you want to be. 15 seconds. 13. 10. <laughs> Keep going. Jump, jump, jump. Jump. Be active. Be wild. Be free. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, okay. Come on back over here, dude. Hey, 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 hey. Micah, come over here. Come on. Okay, now I want you to sit so I can count your your active heartbeats, okay? <laughs> so, here we go. Look, look up, let me feel. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Dismiss. That was about 30 beats. Okay? So, how wild is that? That as Christians, even though we can't see the Holy Spirit, once we invite him into our life, it increases 
our lives. And then once we embrace and show the love of Christ, we become wild for Christ. Micah, do you become wild for Christ? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Let's head back inside for a really fun craft. Micah. Hi. Welcome to our crafting corner. It's going to be so much fun. We we're going to do such a fun craft today. I hope you guys had fun playing games and that you're excited and raring to go and doing some crafts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as always, in order to start, we need to put on our crafting crowns. I'll put mine on just like this. Oh, there you go. And then Lola's will go on just like that. There you go. Are we ready to craft? Yeah. Okay. Today, we're learning about the Holy Spirit and how even though we can't see him, we can feel him in our hearts leading us on God's path. Just like we can't see the wind, but we can feel it, right? So today, we're going to make a device that helps us see the wind. So first thing, we need to get some paper. Lola, do you want orange or pink? Pink. Pink. Pink it is. Right here, we got pink. What you're going to do is... This first step is a little bit like origami because you need a square piece of paper. So you're going to fold it at an angle just like this. So you get a triangle. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut that strip off just like this. Okay. All the way off. And then you have your square. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it again so you've got creases on all four corners just like this you got your creases okay so then you're going to take your scissors one more time and you're going to cut the crease about three-fourths of the way not all the way but some of the way all the way around you got that are you doing it with me and then one more And one more, just like this. So then it dangles. <laughs> okay, now Lola, you wanna help me with this part? Yeah. We're gonna take the points and we're gonna hold them right there. Can you hold it? Yeah. Okay, put your hand right here and hold it. Okay, and then we'll lift up this point. Okay, lift your finger. Okay, and then we'll do this point. Every other point we're going to bring into the middle. Okay. Okay. Lift your finger up one more time, Lola. Just like this. And, oh, oh, move your hand out of the way, sweetheart. I'll have you hold it when it's time. It's really important that you get them all four there. Just like, oh, oh no. We're going to try this a different way. We're going to take the push pin, put it through the top one. And then bring the creases in, or the points in, bring the points in just like this. And you're going to put push your push pin through the corners as you bring them in. Why do we have more of those? What? Why do we have more Why do we have push pins? Yeah. For this reason right here, to make it just like this. And then one more just, ah! Uh, like this. Okay. Now, you may want to have a mommy or a daddy or a grown up of some sort help you make this because push pins can be very sharp, which is why I'm doing it right now for Lola. But Lola, she's going to go grab me the tape from right behind her. Can you grab me that tape over there, sweetheart? That, yep, bring the blue tape back on over here. Just right here. And then, so see, you've got it like this. You got it like this, right, Lola? Mm -hmm. We're gonna take our straw. We're gonna hold this here like this, and you're gonna poke it through your straw. Okay? All the way through, all the way through to the other side. And then, okay, Lola, can you do something very important? Hold it very still. 
okay? Because we're gonna get a very tiny piece of tape and secure our straw to the back of the push pin for two reasons. One, that way it doesn't fall off when you start blowing it around. And two, you don't get poked with the sharp because he's got sharp. So we'll just secure it like this. Just, there you go, just like this. Now, Lola, do you want to test to see if it works? Yeah. Okay, give it a nice big blow. Okay, try again. <laughs> okay, we might have to go outside and watch the wind in action as it blows our pinwheel around. Uh, thank you for joining us in our crafting corner. Uh, come join us on the couch for prayer. <laughs> Bye. Welcome back to the couch. Didn't you guys have so much fun playing the heartbeat game with Micah? And I hope you're practicing at home and you're learning how to feel for your heartbeat because that's like the rhythm of who we are. Our hearts and our brains that makes up so much of who we are. And who we are is so much of who God wants us to be. And that's why we have the Holy Spirit to be in us and teach us how to be. And then, of course, we got to make pinwheels. I love pinwheels. I think they're so much fun to play with. And you just... <laughs> now, our pinwheel was a little bit lackluster, but I hope you guys made some awesome pinwheels and you share them with me. Um, let's close in prayer real quick and then stick around for the family discussion questions so that you can all do your thing together. <laughs> okay, dear Heavenly Father, Oh, we just ask that you come into our hearts. Lead us onto your way. Let the Holy Spirit lift us and guide us and be a part of your life. We love you so much. In your name, amen. Bye.